This is what all the fuss is about. Oops. But the operators of the hills want them off. Uh, the skiers, we try and keep them separated, but the s snowboards come down the slopes and they'll go right in between the skiers and we'll kick them off and they'll just lip us off. And they're dangerous because if one of these uh, skateboards or ski boards, whatever they're called, hit a person, they'd break their leg because they're just like a missile. And most of them have no brakes on them. So uh, nobody is allowing them on any of the mountains around. But where there's a will, there's always a way. Ski hill operators refuse to let anyone with a snowboard onto the chairlift. So they have to hike to the top of the mountain and then find a secluded ski trail where they won't get caught. The ski patrol says it's got its hands full. Quite a, quite a lot of them are uncooperative. Um, some of them have had a little bit to drink and uh, smart Alex, you know, you go up and approach them in a very calm, collect manner and they, they tend to lip you off. You ask them very nicely to leave, that they're endangering the public and possibly themselves. And they, uh, they swear at you, they tell you to get lost, mind your own business. So it's quite a problem for us, really. I think the major problem with the snowboards is that they run into people. You know, they can't see behind them. And when you get skiers and snowboarders together on a run, you're looking for trouble. But the snowboarders don't see it that way. You got this powder strap right here, it holds you on like a brake. Your board can't go any more than three feet away from where you are. Skiers have brakes on their skis or straps about the same thing. So why are these people upset then? I don't know, they just don't like how it looks. They think it's dangerous. They don't want no new equipment or anything probably up there. Some gadget or something. <laughs> 